to have these two young women on my burden today to talk about mental health. They're with the Jordan Porco Foundation, which is, let's call it what it is, it's to prevent suicide among young people. And so I have Alex Katz and I have Srija Kodali. Thank you so much for being with us. All right, so you organized something called the Fresh Check Day, and it's going on at colleges all around the country about checking in with kids. You helped coordinate it, and Shreeja, you carried it off for the first year at Yale University. How did it go? It went really, really well, a lot better, or like as great as we could have imagined. We had over 500 students come and register with us, maybe around like 550, like we ran out of stamp cards and had to print out more. Um, and there were even more than that who just came by and passed by and getting students to like engage with topics on mental health, suicide, psychosis in such a public space on our campus was really incredible. Did they understand what Fresh Check was? Yeah, I think it took them a, a few reads. Some were like, oh, is this for freshmen only? But um, <laughs> no, I think they understood it sort of like checking in on students' mental health and they, I think the system that Alex and everyone at JPF put together that is like using fun stuff like food and dogs to incentivize people to engage with these topics really worked. We had tons of students at 9 out of 10, which I'm sure Alex will talk about more, and tons of the students like learning about different really important topics while having a good time. Alex, you work for the Jordan Porco Foundation. Mm -hmm. Jordan was a young man who took his own life. Mm -hmm. How did Fresh Check come about? How did that start? Sure. Well, so his mom is a social worker by trade, and she and Ernie, Jordan's dad, really thought, you know, what could have helped our son? What could help other students? And he was a freshman in college at the time, and so that's where Fresh Check Day came about, is how do we reach out to students, you know, who who need the help, who might not necessarily be exhibiting warning signs because mental health looks different on everyone. So how do we really reach out and reach as many students as possible, try to get past that stigma and use some peer-to-peer -peer messaging to do it? What are the statistics of young people who think about taking their own life at that particular age, teenage up through early 20s? Well, actually, so one of the booths that we have at Fresh Check Day is called 9 out of 10, which is based on the statistic that 1 in 10 college students will contemplate suicide and so we really encourage others to speak up, reach out, be aware, and help someone. And so that's kind of where the statistic comes from is, you know, being somebody to reach out and help that person who's struggling, uh, whether that's a friend or that's yourself. How many college campuses across the country have this now? So we have done about 330 events to date. We're in 37 states. So it's really expanded over the past couple of years. We did our first Fresh Tech Day in 2012. So to see that much growth in such a short period of time is really amazing. Shreeja, let's take a look at some of the photos that uh, you guys sent me about Fresh Tech Day at Yale University. This was your first year. So as we go through these, you had booths set up and you had um, some things to do for students. Tell me about that. We'll just go through the pictures as you're talking. Yeah, sure. So um, this is like sort of comes from the Fresh Check Day model where it's like the two things I saw were as key were like peer-to-peer -peer messaging and interactive activities. So rather than just passing out brochures, students really do these activities to sort of engage and learn the topics in a way that they'll retain. So um, we had one where like students like have these threads and they sort of connect experiences. And at the end, there's this huge web of experiences where students used to feel like they were the only one who got a C uh -huh. or the only one who were feeling down and realized, oh wait, there are a lot of students who feel the same way. Um, some of the other activities, one was like, use a modified version of tarot cards to sort of explore identities and like how race intersects with issues of mental health. Uh, nine we out of ten. Music, I see. Yeah, that's actually Pitnacree, um, our like Irish music group. So they performed. We had a bunch of different student performances. Like one student led a yoga session that was really popular. So the idea behind this is to make it fun for students to talk about a very difficult topic. As kids were there, did you hear them talking to each other about certain things too? I mean, what did you observe as, as an organizer and as a coordinator? Yeah, as an organizer, I think, like obviously it looked like a lot of people were there for the, for the food and that's totally fine <laughs> that's and that's totally case, fun. Right? But I think just because like the way the program works, like they have to sort of engage. And I think just being engaged with the activities, which are also run by other students, I think the student leaders who ran the activities were really surprised to see at what other students are bringing to the table and just the sheer numbers. 
Look at the um, numbers. Yeah. Alex. We, I mean, did you have any idea? Would some 500 students, right? Um, yeah, it was well over 500. We ran out of registration cards, which we weren't expecting. Um, and I think the huge turnout was a, like a huge credit to our planning committee. So I'm just like one person. But Emma Goodman, who's like not here right now, but she was like my partner in crime, plus 11 other Mind Matters members who helped. So the 13 of us were the like crucial planning team, but another 30 students helped run the boots, plus like tens more that helped volunteer. And we've been working really hard on this like since like technically a year ago, but mainly this semester. So it's been a huge uh, effort on students' part. And like it's been so great as like I'm finishing up my college career to see how students mobilize to do such a big program. How did the two of you connect? And how do you find your students, Alex, on campuses to put this together? Yeah, so I think we initially connected because somebody at Yale reached out, they were interested in bringing this to campus and said, you know, Mind Matters, uh, the, the members of this group are the people to get this done. And so then we connected and Sarija and Emma were really interested in this. And I think in general, I really just look at each campus and what groups have the resources to be able to do this in terms of interest and staff availability, time, et cetera. And really, you know, they were interested and they had the drive and dedication and that was great. And I think one of the things, you know, that she mentioned too was how a lot of people came for the food and one of the things we hear from students is came for the food, stayed for everything else, mm -hmm. you know, came for the therapy dog, stayed for everything else because we do really aim to make this in a way that is approachable for students where they feel like they can speak to their peers about this where it's uplifting and engaging mm -hmm. and just such a powerful event and the reason behind this is you might be saving lives mm -hmm. and I'm sure somebody was touched on that day that maybe their thinking is different now that's that's the idea behind fresh check correct correct yes we, we see that a lot in testimonials where students talk about the experiences that they were having prior to Fresh Check Day and then they go through the event and realize that it's okay to reach out and ask for help or how it just completely turned their day around. I experienced Fresh Check Day for the first time as an undergraduate at the University of Connecticut and it was so powerful for me. That's what prompted me to come and apply to this organization in the first place. So I can definitely speak for that. Have either of you had anyone close to you in suicide in your families, friends? Um, I think like in my family, sort of like greater family, like issues of mental health. And I think everyone, because it's so common, I feel like everyone can relate. There's some, but no one really talks about it. So um, I think there's like, yeah, in a certain way, everyone can sort of relate and has someone in their life who's been touched by it. And so the stigma still exists even now. Definitely, and that's one of the things we aim to do is try to decrease that stigma. You know, if you are struggling with mental health, who's the first person you're going to go to? It's most likely going to be a peer, and so we really use that peer-to-peer -peer messaging approach to try to start these conversations and encourage help-seeking and end stigma along the way. So, Sharija, you've now laid the groundwork at Yale University. Will they have this again next year? You know, I think so. It was like an enormous effort, but I heard from multiple students, which is really nice to hear, like underclassmen who are like, is this going to happen again? Because this seems really cool. Like, I'd love to be involved. And just thinking about how like younger students have been energized into being more involved uh, is just like such a great way to like leave this school. So I think for sure. How did you get involved? How did I get involved? With Fresh Check Day or just... Just where you're a part of Mind Matters. I yeah, think. yeah. And Fresh Check, why is this so important to you to get involved in this? Yeah, a I think to me it was really important just because, as you see in like college, a lot of friends struggle with issues and sort of lack the vocabulary to like identify and label those experiences. Like, oh, this was something serious and this is something that is important and warranted, like, maybe help. So just seeing how prevalent and widespread the issue is, but like how little our conversation about it was, is what sort of drove me to be more involved and do my bit. And Alex, how has this program grown since you've gotten involved in it? Yeah, so I've been with the organization for the past two years and I would say we've probably tripled the number of schools that we have worked with in the past two years, which is, like I said, incredible growth and really exciting. And in addition to that, we've also launched an ambassador program, and so I'm actually wearing yes, a t-shirt. Yes, you're wearing a t-shirt from this, and, and it says 910. 
help someone. Yes. Do I have that correct? Yes. So it's based off of the booth that I mentioned before, which you know started with Fresh Check Day and really you know, as part of Fresh Check Day was teaching students warning signs, safe messaging, ways to reach out for help for themselves or someone else, and then that grew into an ambassador program where we are encouraging students to do more, to be advocates in their communities, and our, our tagline is really to, to be aware, speak up, reach out, and help someone, and that's what we are encouraging students to do, is learn those skills. What other kinds of help needs does a Jordan Porco Foundation have? If you, if, is there a wish list, how we get more ambassadors, how we get more of these fresh check days on campuses? Well, I would definitely say that if anybody is interested in a fresh check day or being an ambassador, they can reach out to myself or go on our website and contact the email. We would love to see this message grow. You know, our mission is, as you said before, to promote mental health, to prevent suicide and create a message of hope for young adults. And so the more young adults that we can get involved to spread that message, the better. And Shreeja, you're about to graduate from Yale University. Are you going to take what you've learned with this and Mind Matters and go forward in your career? Oh, absolutely. I think my experiences uh, with Mind Matters and Fresh Check Day will definitely help me as I move forward because I think it's just a lot about like interacting with people, listening to people, validating like student experiences or people's experiences in general. And also like a lot of our work in Mind Matters is like centering the stories of students with lived experience of mental illness. So making sure like we always pay attention to who's like really struggling out there and making sure they're at the platform and they can share their story. And I think that's something that's like really valuable. I'm hoping to enter a career in medicine. So always being able to center their experience, like what a patient's a, what experience. What a great advocate. And you talked about warning signs. What are warning signs that somebody's in trouble? So I would say, you know, any major change from how they usually are acting, you know, if they're normally very talkative and like to be around their friends and suddenly they are withdrawn and a lot more quiet or major changes in behavior, maybe they're eating differently or they don't find enjoyment out of things anymore. Uh, there, it really depends, you know, on the person. We all go through bad breakups where we might be sad for a little while and then kind of knowing the difference between that or if that persists for a long period of time. Um, Bottom line is get people to talk. Yes. And make it okay that they are talking. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us, Alex Katz and Shreeja Kadali. You may have saved some lives with Fresh Check, and I thank you for that, and thank you for coming on. Thank Thanks you so for much having for having us. us. <laughs>